Now, let's talk about SEO. You know, most people have heard of SEO. Most business owners have heard of SEO. But I just want to talk a little about, bit about exactly what it is. The way that I like to explain it is that, you know, as a business owner or as a manager, you want to take the assets that you have and make the most of them. So if, if these are the resources you have, you want to make sure you're getting as much possible um, you know, tweaking it or doing whatever you need to do to get the maximum profit. So um, if you look at it that way, like optimizing business for sales or optimizing your business for productivity, if you look at website optimization, it's just like that. Um, there are a lot of things that you can op optimize a website for as well. I mean, I can optimize it for conversion rate. So if you look again, going back to that idea that I told you that um, every single page on your website is like an employee that has a job to do and you want to measure it and you want to make sure that it's working and making money for you. So when someone, when visitors go to your page, you know, let's say you have a hundred visitors and only one person does the thing that you gave as a goal for that page, then you have a 1% conversion rate. Um, we also optimize for speed. Um, and so we want to do all the things we can do to make the page as fast as possible from optimizing images to caching pages and things like that. Um, and back to conversion rate again, really quick. Um, you know, I told you what conversion rate is, but some ways to optimize for that, uh, you know, it could be something as simple as changing a headline, uh, moving the lead capture, using different colors, things like that. So as we're watching conversion rate to optimize it, we take that asset of that web page and we move it around and, and do something to squeeze more productivity out of it. So that leads us to search engine optimization. The goal is that we want the pages within your website to show up as high as possible on search results, right? Sounds simple enough. So when someone types in a Google term into, um, into Google and it's your industry and your location, we want your business to show up number one, or at least close to number one. Um, and there are so many things that contribute to SEO. And Google is just notorious for changing their algorithm all the time. So they keep SEO pros on their toes. Um, the rankings change also organically all the time. So, you know, we might be working really hard to get your business to the top, but um, one day your, your competitor wakes up and it's like, oh my gosh, my this competitor over here all of a sudden is beating it, me out on Google and they start working on their their ranking. And um, so just organically, those rankings can change. So a good starting point to stay current, if you're like if you're handling your SEO in house or you're looking for someone to take care of your SEO or um, one is that your website must be mobile friendly. Uh, you need to also keep your website updated and use best practices. Uh, using social media really helps with optimization and also adding new content to the website, which is where blog posts come in. Again, you know, on search engine optimization, there are really two main considerations. There's on-page SEO and off-page SEO. On-page you can control. There are things like what your title is, how many times your keyword phrase is within your, the body of your of your text, if you're using it too much, if you're not using it enough, um, how many synonyms to your keyword phrase is being used. So all those things we can control, we can go in and do those. Off page SEO, you can control aspects of it, but in general, you can't directly control it. Um, if you're looking um, at uh, links to your website, that's one thing that is an off page piece of SEO, uh, social media links to your website, things like that. So you can post them, but you, and you can do whatever you can to get them shared, but you can't really make people share them. So again, it just has to do with skill and um, using best practices um, and then, you know, testing and adapting um, and changing things according to what your testing shows you. Local SEO is optimizing a page to rank higher on local searches. So where someone might search for, let's just use um, a dry cleaner. Someone could enter best dry cleaner uh, who uses a specific product. So that's, you know, you would optimize for that. Or you could say the best 
dry cleaner in Billings, Montana. That would be if we're optimizing for the use of the local town, the local region, that is local SEO.